Am I the a-hole? For telling my friend her parents bought her house, not her? The title sounds bad but hear me out. Backstory, I F28 have a friend F28 who purchased a house late last year. It's an awesome two-story town house and I've been over there plenty of times to help out with moving slash decorating and for hanging out. As mentioned in the title, her parents purchased the house for her and her partner. I truly have no issue with this as the housing market is terrible for buyers so more power to them for being homeowners. I recently, unfortunately inherited my parents house, which is three bedroom, out in the sticks. The issue, we went appliance shopping because most of the, the stuff in the house was 10 to 15 years old. We were standing with an employee who I had asked to recommend some smaller items like toasters and kettles when the employee asked if I was moving out as general chit chat. I told him I was moving, and he asked whether I bought or rented. I told him bought, because it was just easier and less awkward than telling him I inherited the house. He told me that was cool and began talking about the toasters again when my friend cut and that I had inherited my house, not purchased it. The employee went quiet and I gave her a what was that face. I was taken aback, she continued on saying yeah, I purchased my house. I asked does it really matter? I'm here to buy some kitchen appliances not tell this guy my personal issues. She grinned and said it's just for the record which made me more confused and annoyed. You can probably see where this is going I replied oh okay then if it's just for the record your parents purchased your house for you. The employee quickly retreated and she walked outside of the shop. I caught up with her and she said I was a massive a-hole for pointing out she couldn't afford to own without her parents' help. I returned with a very similar my parents also helped me with getting a house too, just in a really terrible way. My partner agrees with me, saying that she's the one that opened that door, but our other friends are split almost 50-50. And TA. She doesn't get to be catty and look down on you for how you each got your homes. It seems like an odd disconnect that she feels superior about it at all. That's what I thought. She's never said anything generally catty or made any comments similar prior to this. It came out of nowhere and it truly left me speechless for 5 seconds. She said I was a massive a-hole for pointing out she couldn't afford to own without her parents' help. Can she not see the absolute obvious thing that you both only own homes because you got them from your parents? You're in similar situations to each other overall. She was lucky hers were able to help her while they're still alive. I'm sorry for your loss. She was the one that felt compelled to share your personal information with a store worker for no good reason and then didn't like it when you did the same to her. You wouldn't have said anything if she hadn't opened her mouth in the first place. She needs to grow up and accept she is only a homeowner because she got help from her parents. There is no shame in this, given how awful the housing market is everywhere. NTA NTA Your friend definitely is. The employee probably just wanted to know if you rent your house or own it but the way he worded the question totally merited the I bought it answer. You didn't want to get more personal than that, but your friend decided to start playing games. Is she normally competitive with you? Because that's what it sounds like. This whole thing is just weird and uncomfortable. I am sorry about the circumstances for your home ownership. NTA. Holy crap. What would possess anyone to say this then grin? I would argue that any person that revels in pointing out your deep personal loss to one-up you to a total stranger is not your friend. I am sorry for your loss, OP. I would say NTA because, frankly speaking, it does not matter in that situation how you got a home. An employee just tried to have a polite conversation and you answered in a way that is less awkward. Your friend didn't have to pull that. NTA. OP I'm sorry for the circumstances that led to you inheriting your home. But your friend opened herself up to that response when she felt the need to nitpick the fine details. You own a home, so does she. If she had left it at that so would you. NTA. Our parents bought my brother his first house. 
I inherited their house a few years later. There is no question which of us got the better deal. The friend was given a house by her living parents. They can visit, join her for dinner, celebrate holidays, etc. OP has none of that and never will. The friend started it, OP finished it. Op, you need a better friend. The way I see it, you were gifted a house that your parents lived in, and she was gifted a house that her parents didn't live in. There's not much difference. NTA, but your friend is in personally I'd be re-evaluating this friendship. Friends don't try to one-up each other, score points, or put you down. You deserve better than this. If anyone spoke to me like that, it would definitely be the last time I ever went shopping with them. What's so great about this uppity B, that she's worth the abuse? Like others have said, she was just rude, and it was completely unsolicited. For the record. What record? In her head you are adversaries. Imagine what she must think of you, for her to have to say that. What record? In her head you are adversaries. Yes this 100%. OP maybe she hasn't been openly competitive with you before but she really showed her true colors here and that she is indeed keeping score in her very own words, a record. So competitive in fact, that she thought it was okay to tell a random stranger about your situation I'm so sorry for your loss just for the sake of this record, that shows where her priorities lie. Real friends don't act this way at all.